Postings on Facebook, hey, they happen all the time, but can you ever torpedo your legal case with a posting on Facebook? Well, it takes us to this week's case. Involves a woman in Pennsylvania, Nancy Nicolou. Now, Nancy was somebody who unfortunately was bit by a tick in 2001. And she went in for various tests and was trying to figure out what was going on. And a doctor in 2006 diagnosed her with multiple sclerosis. She always felt that that was a misdiagnosis and that she was really suffering from Lyme's disease. So she went to see various other doctors. And uh, we don't know, but the record is a little unclear, but apparently she also was receiving some care for multiple sclerosis since that was her diagnosis. Well, in 2010, she was finally diagnosed with having Lyme disease. Now, on Facebook, she was posting throughout this period of time. And in 2010, she had made a posting saying, hey, you know, I finally got a diagnosis of Lyme disease, but I've been saying for years I've had Lyme's disease and that this diagnosis of MS was wrong. Well, she then brought claim, brought a civil action, a lawsuit for medical malpractice against the doctor who diagnosed her with MS incorrectly. The case started to go forward. And the attorneys, on behalf of the doctor, jump up and say, wait a second. You know, now that we've engaged in discovery, we find out what everybody has said here. We find this posting from 2010 where you are saying, Nancy, that you had been aware that you've had Lyme's disease for years. Now, that's important because in Pennsylvania, you only have two years to bring claim from the date you reasonably believed that you had suffered medical malpractice. Well, you have said you've been having that for years. Therefore, you needed to bring claim shortly after you became aware of that, and that was certainly before 2010. In short, you brought the claim too late, and the evidence of bringing the claim too late is your posting, particularly your posting on Facebook in 2010, in which you said you've known you had this for years. Nancy said, well, wait a second. I did post that, but on the other side of the coin, I didn't know clearly that I had Lyme's disease until a definitive test was done in 2010. And therefore, I should have two years from the date of 2010 to bring this claim, which she did. She brought a claim in 2012. All right, case went forward, went to the court, and it went up on appeal, and the court had to hear these arguments, had to hear these arguments. And as they say, on one side, they looked at the Facebook posting and the argument being made that she'd known about this for a long period of time, and on the other side saying, well, I didn't really know absolutely unequivocally that I had Lyme's disease and that it was a misdiagnosis until 2010. So the court considered those two arguments and came away and said, you know what? The lawyers on behalf of the doctor are absolutely correct. They're absolutely correct. The posting that was done by Nancy herself clearly said she thought she had had Lyme's disease for years and that the diagnosis by, for MS was wrong. Therefore, it was her obligation, if she wanted to pursue a claim for malpractice, to bring that within two years of the misdiagnosis, which happened in 2006. And she didn't do that. She didn't bring claim till 2012. In short, her case is barred by the statute of limitations. It is thrown out. So what do we learn from this? We learn an important thing, something that we pointed out previously on these video blogs, and that is that your postings on the internet, your postings on social media, all have impact. And when you're posting to social media, you're posting to the World Wide Web. Everybody in the world can take a look at it. And guess what? If you're posting information that's gonna be detrimental to your law, to the case that you're bringing in law, well, guess what? The guys on the other side can look at the World Wide Web and they can obtain that information and you, through that action, can torpedo your own case. All right, bringing this case, we bring cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.